my dear viewers welcome to today's coffee cup reading this coffee cup reading is for all gemini's and it's for september 2023 and and for everyone that has gemini within them i hope you'll enjoy it your cup is beautiful as as always there's so much to read and so many so many things here um so what i'd like to say is welcome everyone my dear viewers and those of you who are new to the channel if you enjoy the reading please subscribe to the channel it doesn't cost anything it's just a click and i want you to be mindful that prior to this reading i meditate and get in connection to your guiding angels to every guiding angel and i get information given to me i write it down on a piece of paper and deliver it to you right at the end of this reading so stay tuned for that and let us begin now glasses on and here we go okay first and foremost what i'm seeing here is it seems like um hmm. just bear with me oh yes here we go i wanted just to be 100 percent about that yes it seems to me as though you are very happy about something you have been uh, doing well and you, you're you're proud of yourself the way you did it you're just so comfortable um there's so much enjoyment because you did it so well, because you're, you're happy you mastered it or you did it in an amazing way. So um, a lot of recognition for that. There's a great victory here, something you've really, you know, you've earned it, you worked so hard with. I also see that you are thinking of improving your life. Lately, you're thinking a lot how to improve your life, how to up, upgrade your situation, what to do next, what incentive to have. Um, just bear with me. Here we go. Sorry. I just needed the tissue. Okay. It's a bit chilly today. Um, so a lot of spiritual growth, but more, more than spiritual growth, there's something that you want to do, um, you know, to do the right thing, uh, you know, to be approved. There's approval. You need the approval of someone or, or some people could be at work. It could be in relationships. It could be to do with family. So you're going out of your way um, to increase your knowledge, to increase your power, your skills. And this is giving you an amazing um, outcome. And I see you, you know, committing to doing better, to feeling better, to your physical health, to your, to your um, eating program. You're, you're changing things in your life, in your work, in your way of looking at life, in your way of doing things, in the way you're planning for the future. Everything is changing. A lot of changes are going to take you to the next level. Now... This is the area that I wasn't very happy about, but I've got to talk about it. Let's see. It looks like an area where you are feeling almost, almost defe defeated to the point where it could be destroying something important to you. You've got to be so... The, the outcome may be so unfair, and this is going to be a very difficult time. You need insight, you need growth to surpass this problem. It's not easy. Maybe it's something internal, something uh, that you can't control maybe. You really got to take care of, of this area and of yourself. There is a conflicted area, there's conflict. There's hostility and there's defeat. So it could be either one. Doesn't mean all of them. It could be that the changes that are taking place here, maybe also a change is needed. That's what it is. A change is needed. Because I'm seeing that you are emotionally unhappy um, and I'm seeing you stressing a lot. You're grieving something, something you're thinking about. There is a little bit of depression within you. Maybe guilt, regret. Maybe there's regret over something you have done, perhaps. Maybe you've caused misery and great pain to someone and that's not helping you move forward. You're not forgiving yourself, but it wasn't your fault. The only reason uh, relationships come to an end or you know anything to do with us leaving other people, causing them um, misery, 
because we leave them. It isn't something in our hands. It's always something that's beyond our hand and it's something that's part of our destiny. So if you were feeling guilty, if you are feeling guilty because you left someone, someone wonderful, because maybe you didn't feel there was enough to stay, it just means that it was time for you to move on to the next lesson, to the next chapter of your life, and the same with them. They too are moving on to the next chapter. Sometimes fear also can be the cause of you sleepless nights and worry. Self-doubt could be clouding the situation that you're in. But overall, time is going to heal you. That's what I'm seeing here. Your guardian angels are watching over you. They are bringing the light into your life. Time is going to heal you. There is a dream maybe you're seeing. This dream could be disturbing also. There could be some information that you're finding out or visions that you're seeing, signs. They could be disturbing. I feel like, you know, for those of you who might be psychic or your, heart, your intuition is very heightened, it might be leaving you sometimes confused and distracted even. I feel like, you know, this. I, I see some thoughts that are haunting you, and that's what I'm talking about. And it seems to me um, maybe you are afraid about your security. You don't feel secure. Uh, maybe there is a matter of some sort of... Uh, bad luck or danger that you're concerned about and i feel that soon and i mean very very soon a lot of truth is going to reveal a lot of clarity a lot of light is coming into your life there is a white crow believe it or not not a black crow but a white crow do you see this here it's a white crow i've never seen anything like it the white crow is an angel a special kind of angel a special angel is assigned to look out for you in a very very um it's amazing what i'm seeing here in a very area that you are worried about that you're concerned about that you have fear about there is a dog involved chinese year perhaps the chinese year of the dog there's a dog here there's a worry about a dog it could be your literally your pet dog you might be worried about um but i feel it's big i feel like there is someone born in the chinese year of the dog so what I'm seeing here that this white crow, this white incredible uh, special angelic being, which shows in the in the in the sign like a like a crow, a white crow watching over you, their head down, looking at you and your situation. They are bringing you a lot of light so that you can have slowly to have the clarity, slowly to know the truth. Bits and pieces are being brought into your mind, into your soul, so that you can see clearly where you're going what's going to happen it's as though you want to talk to someone about it and you're holding you're holding off and you're, you're avoiding that because you are so concerned this could cause paranoia sometimes causes you a lot of anguish a lot of mental uh, un uneasiness but ultimately like i said the light is going to be brought into your path where slowly you get to see a lot of things and then you can see your path ahead so there won't be that much concern so that is the good news. I do see understanding is very important. And to have understanding isn't easy. You know, people say, oh, understanding, it's great. To have understanding, you have to have empathy. If you don't put yourself in somebody's position, there is no way you could have empathy. If you don't put yourself in their shoes, you can never feel what they're going through. So empathy is very important for you to actually have understanding and so that you can improve an area of your life, a very important area of your life. So uh, have a look at this, especially this year is going to teach you this. This year, uh, the year of the rabbit cat, 2023. Have faith, don't lose faith in yourself, in your surroundings, and in a situation that it will improve and your empathy is going to rise, believe it or not. This is the only way to, for you to complete a particular chapter of your life. However, there are choices. You are, you might be put in a position where you need to make some choices. I do feel again that there is a guardian angel watching over you, taking care of things for you. It's incredible. Where you are, the, what's happening in the regard to this choice, what you have to make a choice, whether you can do this or not. Um, 
great changes are in store for you, and that is so important. And an important information, either message, document, or you know, words of mouth. There's going to be some information that is going to put an end to this saga, this problem that's continuing, ongoing. You are going to overcome this challenge and it'll be over and you are going to be so relieved when this is over. Then you're straight away into a new project. And this new project needs attention, needs details. You need to pay attention to details. That's what I'm trying to say. Again, there's a beautiful dog here. But it looks like a platypus and a dog mixed together or a monkey. Oh, God. I'm trying to work out this. Uh... Okay, so it looks to me. Sorry, I'm using a tissue. I'm having a little bit of a chill. So I'm trying to see what this is. I've got to bring this forward towards me. I just see this. Oh, it's a big fish. Sorry, it looked like a. From here, it looked like a dog or a platypus, but no, it's a dolphin. It's the head of a dolphin. Oh, wow. And next to it, there's a pathway, hmm, a new pathway. A, mirac a miracle is going to take place in your life. Something miraculous is taking you out of something. You are going to be saved from an accident, from something bad. You're being lifted, uplifted. I feel like it's as though... The possibilities are, they were impossible. And you'll know what I'm talking about. This is something miraculous that will take place in your life. It's like it was saved by by God, by angels. It's so, it's so spiritual. And this is going to heal you. This is going to, to really elevate your faith. And having faith is everything. Without faith, we have nothing. We are in limbo, questioning everything. And never, uh, never sure of anything. I feel like you are going to be empowered. It's like you are given this amazing torch that looks like a wand, like magic, in the midst of this dolphin, where it shows to me that you are going to be given the power, the power beyond um, where you are now, uh, in a in a way that you can start seeing things so clearly and understanding things before they happen. Not to mention be, being able to move things the way you want them. Um, it's, it's as though um, you are given, how can I say this? It looks like as though you are given some sort of uh, high-tech, maybe it's the way to put it, high-tech power that you can overcome anything. You become an overachiever, you can do anything. You're achieving so much and you're becoming highly powerful tremendous power is given to you this is incredible this is the best part of your coffee cup this dolphin is uplifting your dolphin is luck extraordinary luck it's power it's the truth it's connected to our angels it's giving you uh, the strength that you need and the power to overcome anything perhaps it's opening your third eye to see ahead to understand why certain things are happening simply i see you overcoming problems, taking charge, and taking action. And you are empowered, unlike any time before in your life. This is amazing. This is incredible. Mm. I guess this is all in preparation to something that's happening. There's going to be a restart of your life, rebirth. There is an ending and there is healing after the ending and then there is starting fresh starting fresh sorry i just dropped my glasses i just picked them up okay i don't put them all the way just a little bit so they fall okay um what's amazing here it's i'm shown how magnificent you are i'm shown that you need to know how incredible you are. You know, sometimes you might say it, but you might not really feel it. Believe in your magnificence. Believe and embrace your power. That, it seems like it's all about power, like your guiding angels, God, saying the universe, letting you know that there's so much power. You need to embrace it. You need to be very strong. You need to be strong enough to set boundaries, boundaries in your life, boundaries with others, and assert yourself, but in a loving manner. Don't do it in anger um, or in harsh words. 
do it in a very gentle get your intentions in there but put your intentions in a very loving warm and gentle way so that you can get your way do it in a very loving way so that you can get exactly what you want and set the boundaries that you want that's the um, the secret using beautiful gentle loving words and then you will see how empowered you are you have got the capability you are capable of loving loving way you can do it and that's when you truly can be yourself to set the boundaries you want assert yourself do what you want but use gentle words to get that across you are about to meet someone if you haven't already you're about to meet someone magnificent someone wonderful someone with a very what can i say pretty face but more than that i can't say just a pretty or handsome face we don't know what gender this person is but it is someone very romantic romantic loving romantic sensitive to a degree but what you love about this person they're very nurturing there's a lot of nurturing in them no matter what gender they are they've got these qualities of nurturing and you too my dear gemini you are well known for this for nurturing so you unite well together and this brings out the greatest love begins the love is maybe you had a relationship but or you might have had something uh, maybe you've already met this person just recently but it's just escalating now you're realizing you're falling in love the love is growing you're both realizing it i see an intense intense friendship turning into a loving family inner peace the beginning of the greatest love the greatest love here for you oh my god i got chills already um it's cold and I'm getting more cold with this is incredible the beginning of a great love follow your heart let your guard down it's okay but still be assertive and set boundaries um, you can trust this person this person is someone you can really really trust and this I, f I feel like this person is your soulmate and all you need to know is trust have trust and have faith there's so much um, that you need to understand. You have to have understanding to understand always this person's intentions. Always their intentions are for the better of you, for your best um, at heart. They've got your best at heart. So you are celebrating a time of contentment and happiness and good luck too. Good luck is coming in the process also. I feel like there is uh, a new life coming a life that changes everything where you are it changes unexpected money coming also travel some of you are moving um, to a better place better home better residence yeah better home uh, i also feel like some of you could be changing your job working for yourself and others could be just changing to a better but you're rising rising beyond where you were to a better place and i feel like a lot of rewards are coming hard work is paying off everything you've been working for there's a glorious success waiting for you fame fortune for many many of you um victory and victory over victory over trouble completely obstacles are removed and i see a lot of rewards coming your way a lot of applause a lot of help from the divine from your guardian angels looking out for you healing healing in many areas of your life healing for those of you who are about to start something something is about to start could be a new beginning a new business a new good idea um maybe the ability to 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 conceive something magnificent it's just incredible have the courage take action now dreams can come true i feel like this is the time for you to create what you want. It's time for you to do what you want. There's a doorway opening, a doorway to a lot of value, a lot of happiness, wealth, spiritual growth, spiritual wealth, and love. Love, money, and spiritual growth all in one. This doorway that's opening, it's, it's a door to a lot of valuable things, not just money, 
but love and spiritual growth, spiritual wealth. So this gives you the ultimate success. I'm seeing a lot of physical activities being put into everything. You're physically active now more than before. And I feel like, you know, this is giving you... Um, this is giving you freedom. This is giving you healing. Uh, many of you are improving your health big time. You need to be very supportive. Make genuine effort to show you care. You need to make genuine effort to show that you care. Sometimes just saying it, you know, um, isn't enough. You need to show your support. Support at the time when it's needed most that's the time you do it when there's obstacles when there's hindrances when there's issues that's the time you need to be understanding that's the time you need to be supportive even when you don't think it's right don't straight away um uh, you know explode try to be calm when it's something you don't like try to understand the other party and what they need what why it's important to them and then of course not questioning what is important to them but supporting them that's what true love is. That's what understanding is. That's what compassion is. And ultimately, that's what leads to fulfillment and to a peaceful life and a happy life. Someone truly thinks very highly of you. Someone truly loves you. This is someone, a water, energy, and fire mixed together. Water, Scorpio, Cancer, Pisces, either one. Fire, Aries, uh, Leo, um, Sagittarius. But it's an amazing face, a beautiful face. There's fulfillment, there's happiness. And I feel like this fulfillment, it shows to me that in, in relationships, especially in one relationship, fulfillment is taking place. And what I'm seeing here is a lot of, wow, star signs. What are we talking here? For my dear Gemini, I'm seeing a little bit of Gemini. There is a little bit of Gemini, but I'm seeing a lot of water energy, water everywhere. And in the midst of this water, the strongest one I'm seeing is Pisces. Pisces, Scorpio are the strongest, and there is a little bit of Cancer, but more Pisces and Scorpio. This is someone, this could be either one for some of you, it will be this or that. A little bit of Cancer, but Scorpio and Pisces, the strongest, two people that you are very much into, obsessed with, consumed with, living with, dealing with could be either way in the midst of this uh, water which is amazing and you need this uh, my dear Gemini comes fire and fire gives you the warmth that you need you don't get the warmth from the water but you do get um, you need that you need the fire so this person has got fire in them their water and fire fire being Aries number one Leo Leo number one more Leo lions and then there is Aries oh wow a lot of Aries just one Gemini, but a lot of Leo and a lot of Aries in this person. So that means the majority will be either Aries or Leo. And very rare there will be Sagittarius. My dear Gemini, another fact that's very important, air surrounds this person. So the air that's around them, maybe, maybe they're born like um, an Aquarius with a lot of Pisces. Or they may be born um, a, a lion, Leo, with a lot of um, Aquarius. I see a lot of Aquarius here. A lot of Aquarius. Um, heaps of Aquarius and Libra. Two Libras, four Aquarius. So the majority is Aquarius in them. And they might have Libra. That makes them attractive. That makes them wise friendship beyond everything. And your love, love life will be uh, tremendous together. I also see Earth energy. And you need this badly. You and the person who is water and fire you need earth to give you the stability the endurance to last to build to rise together and i'm seeing capricorn here very strong more than um oh yeah virgo also virgo very strong mm, capricorn and virgo very strong and a little bit of a drop of taurus but what i'm seeing here i think more than anything else it's capricorn i feel like virgo uh could have been in the past maybe some of you are still with with Capricorns that might have Virgo in them, double earth, and, and you might be doing well. But I do see Virgo being a little bit in the past. Maybe some of you are leaving Virgos. Half of Geminis are leaving Virgos, moving to the next level. Don't forget, 
levels, years, age. You know,、um, there might there may be you know maybe until the age of thirty,、uh, you might have been with Virgos, then you're moving on to、um, fire and water. So that's what happens. It's it's, it's very deep astrology. And、um, no one talks about these depths, but seeing them、uh, is understandable. Half of Gemini's are leaving Virgos, and there's some Gemini's that are having fire, water with Earth, needing Gem,、uh, needing、uh, sorry, leaving Virgos,、uh, but needing Virgo、uh, in the background, but having water and fire energies, which is really incredible. Water energies again, Pisces, Scorpio, very strong Pisces, Scorpio.、Uh, now. Uh, for all Gemini's and Leo Aries, very strong. That's what you are now. What's coming around for you, my dear Gemini?、Uh, amazing Chinese ear of the dog here, very strong. I saw the dog before. I see it again, and now I see two dogs. So you could be buying another dog, literally. You could be obsessed with your two dogs, and you just love them, and you're not spending blaming yourself. You're not spending enough time with them. You might be thinking of another dog. You might be thinking of a pet. A dog also represents pet. A dog also represents children, and it also represents、um, Chinese ear of the dog. You might be、uh, really wrapped up in someone, family member, a parent perhaps, or a lover. Chinese ear of the dog. Now, what's amazing is there were two dogs. Now I'm seeing four: one, two, three, four dragon. Chinese ear of the dragon here, big in this cup. One, two, yes, four big giant dragons. If you are born or the person. That was very romantic and loving. That's coming in your life, very nurturing. Could be a dragon, Chinese ear of the dragon. Very strong here. Or some of you might have left a dragon. It is possible. Don't forget, male, female, different genders play different roles in astrology. So when you get、uh, a male, for example, this is just an example. A male dragon is very nurturing, where a female dragon may not be nurturing, but could be very loving and very sensual. But not nurturing. So always remember、uh, that is that plays a big role. So many of you could be leaving dragons, and you might be saying, "What's so special about dragons? Why are four dragons here?" Because many Gemini's will be moving into a nurturing time now, and、uh, and some genders、uh, are very strong in nurturing, especially the dragon and the male dragon more than anybody else. Now. The female dragons are saying, "Wow, what about me?" Yes, you are brilliant. You are attractive. You are sensual. But when it comes to the word nurturing, it is、um, the male dragon here. Very important. Now let's move forward、uh, to the next one. I'm seeing is the horse. There's two or three horses there. Chinese ear of the horse. Well, that's yourself. And and what's amazing is that、um, um, a lot of dragons and horses do get. Married and they spend a lifetime together. Chinese ear also of the horse. So we talked about Chinese ear of the tiger. He a very strong tiger, and Chinese ear of the tiger is very much、um, in connection to the. Well, they ca- they come to the horse and they're okay with the dragon. A dragon usually,、uh, they do connect with the dragon, but mostly. Uh, the tiger goes very well with the pig, and I'm seeing three pigs here. That's why I talked about the pig, Chinese ear of the pig, which goes excep- exceptionally well with the horse and with the tiger. Now I'm also seeing roosters here. There's one, two, three roosters. There is a snake here and a goat. A few snakes, a few roosters, a few goats, and of course the rooster goes exceptionally well. With the snake, and of course the goat goes、uh, pretty well with、um, the tiger. There's also Chinese ear of the buffalo here. The buffalo very strong, and the monkey, and that, my dear viewers, is、um, everything. I'm sorry that I keep wiping my nose.、Uh, it is a little bit chilly today,、um, six degrees. So for us, it's pretty cold.、Um, as I was saying. A、Chinese ear of the monkey. So this could be these chi- these Chinese ears could be either yourself or the person that you are very much dealing with and involved with and consumed with, or the person that you are going to have an incredible romance and nurturing, loving relationship. This phase that I was seeing, it's a phase of someone very attractive. Whether it doesn't show gender, whether it's male or female or any other gender, but someone very attractive with a beautiful face. Absolutely. So、um, the dragon was the strongest here. Remember.、Uh, now the other thing is,、uh, I am seeing a lot of spiritual and material prosperity, love, 
overcoming everything and I'm seeing that you are gaining control uh, over your life over all your life and over your finances money it's becoming easier to meet payments there's extra money things are coming money is coming success is coming and there could be um, either a purchase of a business or a sale of a business that is possible you could be starting your own business there's increase in power at work and you may be developing an understanding of your finances now better than before and how to manage them well and what to do next. You're planning, you're budgeting, uh, what to save up next for. What do you want to do next? I also feel like you're maybe helping uh, someone with money. You could be supporting someone with money. But money is flowing into your life big time, just like love, my dear Gemini. Just like the romantic love that is... Um, entering your life and expanding and becoming the greatest love of all now my dear viewers what i'm going to do is deliver to you the messages that have come uh even though i'm running a bit late uh, i've got to do this something suddenly something happens suddenly you need to tread carefully you need to tread carefully there are changes transformations but something happens suddenly hmm Transparency is important. Wanting to see things clearly. Clarity is important. You're, you're questioning something. Cleanliness. Clean. You need to do something clean, whether it's to eat clean, like they say, eat healthy, or you're doing something with clean. Some of you could be starting a cleaning business. Something about Aries. Could be something to do with cleaning and Aries mixed together. Aries. The sign, the zodiac sign. Aries is here. Something about garden, maybe cleaning the garden and connected to someone, Aries, that could be possible. Um, you need to get the details for something. You have to get the details for something. You've got to get the details. You are awesome. It's amazing. Oh, my God. You are amazing. They actually said you're awesome. You're guardian angels. And I saw here. Oh, wow. The dub doubles up. What a beautiful thing to double up. Yesterday, I had something awful doubling up. Uh, when I was doing Taurus, but this is amazing. You are amazing. You are awesome. You are incredible. And you are going to get to know what I'm talking about. You'll see everything. You'll understand the signs and everything that I am speaking about will be all, you'll feel it. You'll know what I'm talking about. You've got to listen to what's being said. How important is that? You've got to listen to what's being said. Something's going to be said and you need to listen. It says you've got to be careful loss of money. Loss of money. And underneath that, I've got Taylor. Taylor as in the word, as in the name, as in the tailor who stitches clothes. Taylor. So loss of money. And then something about May. May being um, the month of May. It could be people born in May, like Taurus or Gemini like yourself. Um, so May is there. There is going to be an agreement. Agreement, And then it's got tiger, Chinese year of the tiger. We saw the tiger here. There were three tigers. This is the fourth one, Chinese year of the tiger. It says protect your ankles and your feet. Protect your ankles and your feet. Ankles are the between the foot and the leg. That section that unites the foot with the, uh, with the leg is your ankle, where you strap on shoes, uh, you know, when you wear strap shoes in, in the summer. So protect your ankles. Uh, I explained that because my dear viewers, this goes to different cultures. And so that to make it easy for them, instead of opening a dictionary, <laughs> I explain it. Protect ankles and feet. Very important. Own business. You are going to own your own business. There's ownership of a business. There could be a proposal. Support is needed. You do need support, I feel. And maybe support is going to be given to you because I did see big support coming. Compass, something about your position. Compass means uh, where you're at, you know, north, south, east, west. It's about your position in life, your home position, your residence, your work, your location. Or perhaps when it comes to business, because it's own business, own, like ownership business. And then the compass is giving you, your guardian angels are giving you a clue as to the location of the business. Is that question? Question it, look into it. And understand why they're saying compass. Why is compass connected to business? The location. That's what it means to me. Location of the business is very important for you to, to understand the detail of it or analyze it well.
something about air energy air maybe it's something to do with air and location air very important maybe it doesn't get enough air into it check that that's just a possibility or you could be dealing with an air energy libra aquarius gemini which is yourself gemini you could be uniting with another air sign but the location is very important for you to understand changing situations very important wow changing situations you need to think about that when it comes to business owning a business uh, in regard to the location in regard to air and support needed changing situations is in the midst of all those now let's go through the letters here now i don't need the glasses anymore let's put them aside now let's talk about uh, the names initials that are involved here we've got r twice for rome r for rome twice uh, r for rock rock star restaurant wow then we've got f for france frog frederick c for cat charlie chili canada poor canada our hearts go out to canada the way it's burning people of canada you're in our prayers B for bananas, B for Bob, B for bunny, Bugs Bunny, M for Mexico, Morocco, maroon, the color maroon, Miranda, W for willow, winter, William, wax, E for egg, eagle, elephant, O for Olympics, olive, Oliver, P for pony, pina, pina colada, pineapple. Um, and I was given number four, which is to do with the Chinese year of the cat rabbit, connected to number four, somebody born on the fourth of the month, the address of a business or a situation or a job or something that's number four. Four is connected to April, Aries. Remember we had Aries, something about Aries uh, and clean and garden Aries. Okay. And get details. That was Aries also. Uh, Aries is a fire energy. So you know it's not air. Then we've got four is also connected to. Yeah, April is what Aries. Aries are born in April. And Taurus is also born late April. So Taurus also. It is connected to the Chinese year of the rabbit. Cat, I said that. It is connected to this year. If you've, if you've been questioning something and that you want to know when will it happen this year? Well, yes, this year is given. That's the only number was given. And it does represent very quick success. Incredible luck and success. Very quick coming within four. From the time you see this uh, coffee cup up to four months. Quick success coming and connection to either someone born in April or the Chinese year of the rabbit or cat. Wow. And that is the end of your reading, my dear. I'm so sorry it was so long. Please do watch it all because it all is so important. Each and every subject that comes in this is so intense. It intensifies me when I'm delivering it. Do give me a thumbs up. Let me know what you think. I love hearing from you. My deepest condolences for those who are facing or going through. Uh, you know, I do go through reading. And, and, and when I do read, sometimes I don't get the chance to answer people like separately. But I do wish you all the best of the best. And my deepest condolences for those of you who are losing uh, those that you love. I wish you abundance of blessings, love, joy, and a lot of happiness in everything you do and in every part of your life. Namaste.